Migration Mass, when we remember that this diocese, in a special way, is a home to many migrants and immigrants, immigrants and refugees, a time when we recognize that this diocese mirrors the new Pentecost, the time when the church began and when people from every nation, language, and culture were included in the beginning of the church. And so today, too, in this diocese, we include all who come. We recognize their culture, we honor their languages, and we celebrate together. Before we begin this Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and offenses, especially perhaps that we at times ignore one another and do not share that love that binds us together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. one is a stranger, and from whose help no one is ever distant, look with compassion on refugees, exiles, and immigrants, or segregated persons, and on lost children. Restore them, we pray, to their rightful homeland, and give us a kind heart for the needy and for the strangers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Не стривосуть приходня на сироту і не будеш брати в заставу вдовиної одежі і будеш пам'ятати, що рабом був ти сам в Єгипті. І викупив тебе Господь, Бог твій, звідти, тому я наказую тобі так чинити, коли будеш жати жниво своє на своїм полі і забудеш на полі снопа, не вернешся взяти його. Нехай він буде приходневій сироті та й для вдовиці. Щоб поблагословив тебе Господь, Бог твій, у всім ділі твоїх рук. А коли будеш оббивати оливку свою, не будеш придивляти ще раз до гілля в галузках. Воно буде приходневі сироті та вдові. <кій> коли будеш збирати виноград зі свого виноградника, не будеш збирати полишеного за собою. Воно буде приходневі сироті та вдові. І будеш пам'ятати, що рабом був ти в єгипетській землі. <кій> Тож я... Тож і я наказую тобі так чинити. Це є Слово Боже. The word of the Lord.
the responsorial psalm is Taste and See. I'm sorry, uh, we are not going to have music for this psalm, so I'm just going to read it. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord, for God has been so good to me. Glorify the Lord with me. Together, let us praise God's name. I call the Lord who answered me. From all my troubles, I was free. Taste and see. Taste. Look to the Lord. You will be radiant with joy, and let your faces not blush with shame. The poor called out, and the Lord heard and rescued them from all the distress. Pagbasa mula sa sulat sa mga Hebreo, mga kapatid, magpatuloy kayong nag-iibigan bilang magkakapatid kay Kristo. Huwag niyong kaligtaan ang pagpapatuloy sa mga tagaibang bayan. May ilang gumawa nito at nakapagpatuloy sila ng mga anghel nang di nila nalalaman. Damayan niyo ang mga nabibilanggo na parang kayo'y nakabilanggo rin kasama nila. Gayun din ang mga pinagmamalupitan sapagkat maaring kayo may dumanas din ng gayon. Hindi rito sa lupa ang palagiyang bayan natin at ang hinahanap natin ang bayang masusumpungan sa panahong darating. Kaya lagi tayong maghandog ng ngahain ng pagpapapuri sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Jesus, pagpupupuring nagpapahayag ng ating pagkikilala sa kanyang pangalan at huwag nating kaligtaan ang paggawa ng mabuti at ang pagtulong sa iba sapagkat iyan ang haing kinalulugdan ng Diyos, ang salita ng Diyos. The Lord be with you. 
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did, For one of the least of my brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome naked, and you gave me no clothing, ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of the least ones, you did not do for me and these will go off into eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. The focus of today's readings is to give without cost the same way that we have received without cost. The Gospel tells us that the people Jesus is encountering are faithful who go to give the best that they can. They have physical and other problems, but Jesus readily wants them to be cured and to give alms, to give to those in need. This isn't make what makes have pity them. They are portrayed who placed in the society, taking advantage 
of their position in society. They uphold the law while deteriorating its value. It is not surprising that Jesus calls forth a new leadership for the people. We are not very different from that. We are a people, a church, and a body of Christ. We cause Jesus' heart to be moved, and his response today is the same to us as it was to the people he faced 2,000 years ago. We are asked in the same way to purify and sanctify the church by giving without cost all that we have received without cost. One of the ways we should be given back is upholding our moral duty to help immigrants, migrants, and refugees in their searches for a new and free lives. Pope Francis says, this loving care for the less privileged is presented as a characteristic trait of the God of Israel and is likewise required as a moral duty of all those who would belong to his people. This was a quote from his homily on September 29th during an outdoor mass for the 105th World Day of Migrants and Refugees. Over 40,000 people gathered for this on St. Peter's Square. The choir consisted of many different nationalities and the incense came from, from a small camp in Ethiopia where refugees are restarting the 600-year-old tradition of collecting high-quality incense. After the Mass, Pope Francis unveiled a large bronze statue of many men, women, and children on a boat. In the middle of this boat appears to be a pair of angel wings symbolic of the sanctity of the migrant and the refugee. This is another reminder of our calling, of the evangelical challenge of welcoming all who come to our door. Pope Francis continued, it is not just about migrants. God calls on Christians to care for all victims of the throwaway culture. The Lord calls us to practice charity toward them. They calls us to restore their humanity as well as our own and to leave no one behind. We cannot be indifferent to the tragedy of old and new forms, poverty, to the bleak isolation, contempt, and discrimination experienced by those who do not belong to our group. We must not fail to weep. We must not fail to respond. Let us ask the Lord for the grace, grace of tears, the tears that can convert our hearts before such sins. Loving our neighbor means feeling compassion for the sufferings of our brothers and sisters, drawing close to them, touching their swords and sharing their stories, and thus manifesting concretely God's tender love for them. We are grateful for being given so many beautiful gifts and graces in a country where we are free to today. We ask God to bless those in despair and seeking a new beginning in a foreign land, looking for shelter and looking for sustenance. 
we also ask God to help us welcome those who cross our borders and to give us hearts of compassion, human response, and laws that respect the dignity of all migrants and refugees. My brothers and sisters, let us now make our prayers for the community and for the world. Let us pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people of God. Por nuestro Santo Padre, el Papa Francisco, nuestro Obispo Nicolás y los Obispos Auxiliares, para el que el Señor los bendiga con buena salud, fuerza y fortaleza, y así puedan cumplir el mandamiento del Señor de enseñar y predicar el Evangelio con fervor y energía y al mismo tiempo enfrentar los muchos desafíos de nuestros tiempos, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pelos nossos oficiais eleitos, que eles possam assumir a atitude política que permita um progresso imigratório efetivo e seguro. Justas condições de trabalho ao migrante, o fim da detenção dos que procuram asilo político, protegendo ao mesmo tempo a segurança da nossa nação. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Per un incremento di vocazione nel sacerdozio, diaconato e vita religiosa, per chi viene chiamato dal Signore possa rispondere con slancio e generosità, affinché la Chiesa continui la sua missione di evangelizzazione. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Chingwai, Omo de Chin Siunian Kato, Un Tamo Tito, Tamo Santai de Chingwai, Ben de Yun Tamo de Chin Lake, Noi Gin Chin Yako, Chung Mon Lang Ho de Gaji Guang, Wu Jing Off on Hin de Sung Wu. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Cầu cho tất cả những người đang bị áp bức, cô đơn, nghèo đói và thất vọng qua việc chia sẻ cảm thông và sự nâng đỡ do lòng thương yêu của chúng ta, họ sẽ tìm lại được niềm ủi an trợ giúp trong tinh thần. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Cát vi sĩ đã bùa tôi, cát lý của mi gà tiêu sinh ra ir toliau testų savo specialų pašaukimą, kviečiant ir padedant visiems asmenim, visada laikant Evangelijos tiesas, pavyzdžio realybę. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Za wszystkich, którzy odzyskują siły duchowe po przeżytych nieszczęściach, a przede wszystkim za Polaków, Haitańczyków, Chylijczyków, Chińczyków oraz inne narodowości, aby Bóg ukoił ich ból, przywrócił nadzieję i błogosławił w każdej potrzebie. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Wei Li Wu. 请让我们能够看待世界如同天主看待它一样。因为世界的万事万物, 
都是出自天主慈爱的创造，值得我们的尊敬和爱护。We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are fair. 我们祈祷，愿所有基督徒们能够在世界上和每个人都能够在世界上得到尊重和尊重，并且在世界上得到尊重和尊重。我们祈祷，愿所有基督徒们能够在世界上得到尊重和尊重，并且在世界上得到尊重和尊重。我们祈祷，愿所有基督徒们能够在世界上得到尊重。Yankankara, and at the year I share more with her. Say a better year anywhere, Radimu, then the mammy Mary. Said a bear, ye did or the crow ye, and Tiasia, and then to Tiabaku ran so in your name. Yet I want to come say, and Radiba Sabi, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, you are fair. Za sve one koji pomažu ljudima koji su u potrebi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are fair. For all the intentions we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are fair. Para sa katapustahan ng pangangalakal ng tao, Upang ang buhay at karangalan ng lahat ng anak ng Diyos ay pagpitaganan at pangalagaan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. Un ke liye dua kare jo logo ke andar khauf ke sholon ko hawa dete hain aur jin ke paas kanuni paper na hone ki wajah se imtiyaziyat rakhte hain ke khuda ka rehm unke dilon aur zehno ko chue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are fair. We are all God's children, so let us pray for peace in the, all the world, and especially in the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are fair. God, our Father, you are the author of the human race. You give us language and culture. Listen to all these prayers made in different languages. Listen in kindness to these supplications and to all who call upon you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who willed that your Son should lay down his life to gather into one your scattered children, grant that this sacrifice of your peace may bring about a communion of minds and hearts and an increase of fraternal charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for our salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company of all the angels and saints, we praise you and give you joy as we proclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and given you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nicholas, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. Let us share a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O Lord, who have renewed us with the one bread and the one chalice, grant that in sincerity of heart we may show true compassion towards strangers, immigrants, and the abandoned, and that all of us may deserve to be gathered together on the last day in the land of the living, through Christ our Lord. First off, thank you to our bishop for joining us for our annual Di Diocesan Migration Day Mass. So thank you, Bishop DiMarzio. We're also grateful for the presence of Bis Bishop Chepetto, Raymond Chepetto, the Vicar General of the Diocese, and Bishop Wito Moreschi, the Vicar for Ethnic Migrants for the Diocese. So thank you both. to Monsignor Harrington, the rector of the Cole Cathedral, which is your cathedral, and as you all know, many years ago, each of the ethnic ministries paid for and supported all the beautiful images of our Blessed Mother from your particular country, so this is your cathedral. We always thank Monsignor Harrington for his hospitality and for his sales for all they do, particularly in broadcasting, to the priests who are very busy but made time to come to all the coordinators and all the priests. I thank all of you for joining us today. To all of you who came to join us for Mass to celebrate the unity of our diversity, to the choir who's done such a wonderful job, to the servers, the lectors, the ministers, to anyone who played a part, thank you. If I forgot someone, I'm trying to be brief because it is a busy time of year, but thank you and just remember that our diversity is our unity. Our faith unites us though we come from all parts of the globe. We have hope and particularly as we continue our Advent celebration, we remember the birth of one who was an immigrant, who was a refuge, who had to force to flee, but who is our Savior, Jesus Christ. So we give thanks for our faith that unites us, the different languages and cultures. We are united in our faith. God bless. I ask my brother bishops to join me in the final blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may you make, be firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. And so rejoicing now with devotion to the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again and the last day. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.